Hey guys, um, I was just getting a bunch of questions about how to edit the color on Paris Pencil, which is the um, most recent SVG font I've put out, and I wanted to show you guys how to do that. So the thing with SVG open type fonts are that they're a little bit more complex than your normal font. Um, they're a pretty recent development, and so your options for coloring are a little bit more difficult. Hopefully it's something that will be resolved as the technology gets better, but at the moment we kind of just need to make do with what we have. So um, the way we need to change color is by using a color overlay in Photoshop and by adjusting color balance in Illustrator. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. So I have my Paris Pencil text ready to go. I'm going to just type it out. And then once your text is good to go, you're gonna go to your layer right over here, double click, and it'll pull up your layer style panel. We're gonna go down to color overlay, click in this box, and then you can adjust the color to whatever you want. If you're not seeing the color change, make sure your preview box is selected right here so you can keep an eye on how it's changing. And then the cool thing about Photoshop as well is that if you wanted to apply the same thing to another layer, all you need to do is right click the layer that's been colored, copy layer style, and then right click the one you want to apply it to and paste the layer style. And then you're good to go. If you are going to export this as a PDF, or if you're, if you're using it for another type of um, thing for a PDF, you want to make sure that you either rasterize your layers, so you can right click rasterize type, or when you're saving it as a PDF, make sure you turn off the preserving Photoshop editing capabilities. Um, you want to be totally sure that it's not going to try and export the type as something that can be edited. If it does, then it's going to show up as black boxes if it's opened up in a version of Acrobat that isn't current. So make sure you either rasterize your type layers, which honestly is the safest option. Um, make, make sure as well that you duplicate them um, and then turn them off beforehand so that you preserve the editing capability in your PSD but when you're exporting a PDF, you want to make sure they're rasterized. And then in Illustrator, what we're going to do is get our type ready to go. Um, and then once it's good to go, you don't need to edit it anymore. Um, you want to make sure that, because we're going to rasterize it to color it, um, which means basically flatten it so that you can't edit any type. So if you have a spelling error or something, you're not going to be able to go in and fix it after you decide to color it. So double check, make sure your coloring is or your type is good. And then we're going to go and rasterize our layer. So we're going to go object, rasterize, make sure it's RGB, high, transparent, good to go. So now I can't, I can't go in with my type tool and edit it because we just flattened it. But now, because it's flattened, we can edit the color. So with your layer selected, you're going to go to Edit, Edit Colors, Adjust with Color Balance. Make sure your preview box is selected so you can see what you're doing. And you're just going to use these sliders to adjust to whatever color you need. I know it's not as technical as Photoshop, um, which is why, I mean, if you're, if you're going to be building something out that needs to be exported flattened anyway, then it's best to just build it out in Photoshop so you have complete and total control of the color. But if you love Illustrator and you want to keep everything in one program, you can adjust your colors this way. So if you guys have any other questions, please email me, let me know, message me on Creative Market. I love making these videos for you. I love helping you figure out 
um, how to use fonts in all of your design work and how to just make it the best it can be. So yeah, don't hesitate to let me know and I will talk to you guys later.